Hey, thanks for your interest in the Facing the Sun music project. Uh, while the roots of this project go way back, uh, the, the actual uh, inception of the project was September of 2012. Since then, the details of this project have really come together quickly. Uh, the Face in the Sun music project, this EP that I've been, been working on, it, it, its roots really go back quite a ways. Uh, uh, I, I started off uh, a while ago, uh, I did this this song in GarageBand, when GarageBand was, was brand spanking new, and I was like, uh, okay, you know, I like I have this blues song, I'm going to play it. So I, I played the song, and I actually did the whole, the whole thing, I did four tracks, I did a bass track, I played the bass, I played three guitar tracks, and it came out pretty good, and I thought, you know... I like this. I, I like this. This could be uh, something I could I could find some interest in to maybe try to make a contribution to music. Uh, and then, so I, I sort of got serious about blues for a while, and I realized that you know guys like Muddy Waters and BB King and um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and and Greg Allman, these guys have all come. They've all done phenomenal stuff. And I'm like, what what am I going to do? What what can I do to be you know, even to be even in the same the same room with these guys, and I thought about it. And I thought, you know, this doing another blues stuff. This is, I'm just not going to have the impact. And if if you're going to do art, I feel like if I'm going to do art, I might as well do something, you know, to to be the best or to be the first or something like that. And that's when it occurred to me, no one has done blues cello, and so I thought, okay, that could be my thing. I could be a blues cellist. I could be the best blues cellist in Memphis. Maybe the best blues cellist in the world. And so I started uh, being a blues artist uh, on the cello, and I was using Harold Hill's Think System, and, and I was making a lot of progress. I got to the point where, okay, now I'm really going to have to get a cello. And if, if, you, if you're not familiar with Harold Hill's Think System, you can, you can Google that, and you can kind of get the ins and outs of that. And so when I realized I was actually going to have to get a cello to, to progress, I thought, well, that's a big instrument. It costs a lot of money. Um, maybe, maybe I should rethink this. And then I thought, piccolo. It's small. Easy to carry around. You could probably even just put it in your pocket if you were in a hurry. So I went blues piccolo. Uh, went back to Harold Hill. Was making good progress. Uh, and then I got to the point. I was like, okay, I need to buy a piccolo. And so I was kind of working that around in my head. I talked to George Baldwin, uh, who is now my manager. I talked to him at that time just kind of as a colleague. And um, we, we talked about it at different angles on it. Uh, and then not too long ago, I was I was talking to one of the songwriters at, at Visible Music College. Her name is Shekinah Lankford. She's a, a phenomenal young songwriter. She's a member of a band. Uh, she said she was a, a touring band on the a year of 2012. Fantastic young artist, songwriter. And we were talking about it, and I thought, you know what? I could be a songwriter. And I got to thinking, yeah, I could be, you know, that's, well, blues songs, you know, I'm not really, not really sure where to go with that. But what about rap? Because rap has been around for a while. It, it has really developed as kind of the mouthpiece of, of people who are looking to, to, to bring about change. And I, I'm aware a lot of rap was deconstructionist, and I'm not really into deconstructionism so much, but I thought, you know, maybe I could use the, the modality and maybe use the genre to talk uh, more in a positive way, not, not always so hedonistic and not so deconstructionist, but actually, you know, in a way that would be positive and uplifting to society. And so that's what I, I thought. I said, okay, I can be a rap, a rap songwriter. And then I thought, well, but then again, there's a lot of rap songwriters. What can I do to make this different? And then I thought, I got it. I'll do instrumental rap. And that's when I went and talked to George Baldwin. I said, George, no one is doing instrumental rap. I think we've got something here. And I think maybe Vincent uh, Creative Group ought to get on board with this. When Bill and I first started talking about the project that we have today, it really came out of the times that we just spent hanging out together. I've always been intrigued about how when creative people um, just spend time together, the natural byproduct of that is some pretty brilliant stuff. And that goes without saying when you're, you're hanging out with somebody like Bill Snodgrass, who brings to any conversation his own brand of creativity mixed with absolute brilliance. And so it was in those conversations where we started talking about the blues cello project and that <clears throat> was intriguing enough, but then there was a natural morphing and moving to the blues piccolo. And then as we continued to talk, I was able to help him think through and talk about all those uh, aspects of that, that really brought us to where we are today. And it's very exciting to be a part of a project like this that is so far out above 
and out in front of the curve and, and above the rest of the market, doing things that people have not yet thought about. And so when he he approached me about Vincent Creative Group being a part of of this project, um, I naturally jumped at it. And my partner in Nashville is all is all about all of this. And so we are trying to bring all the forces that we have together uh, to bear on making this the best project, actually more than it it can be, to bring all of our gifts and talents to it, to frame it so that the marketplace truly understands what this project truly can be and how it's going to change forever the landscape of the music industry. Um, after I met with George, um, I, I kind of was getting a feel of things. The excitement was building and, and people were saying, you know, how is this going to be? What's this going to be like? I can't wait to, to see what I can't wait to experience this instrumental rap thing that you're doing. Um, and so I was talking to uh, my producer, uh, Terrence Dorch. I said, Terrence, I said, you know, people really want this. I said, let's let's go ahead and let's give them something now. Let's give them uh, let's give them the uh, an, an acapella version. Well, at first, you know, I really didn't you know, I didn't want to work with an artist like this, you know. But after just meeting with him and kind of you know he's sharing this vision of the EP, I had to work with him. I had to do something with him. And so it all came together really, really fast. After I, I met with George and I met with Terrence and my engineer, uh, Tyler Washburn, uh, we, we really started putting these things together. Uh, I, I found some people who wanted to collaborate with me on the project. Uh, Youngtown, who's a great young rap artist. Little Nay, who is uh, an art, a rap artist in England. Uh, one of my colleagues uh, at Visible Music College, uh, Piet Stridham, will collaborate on this project. And, and it's, even still, I'm getting offers from people who want to, like, to get in on like, a bonus track. Uh, and maybe do a bonus track to the EP, which maybe that'll come. I'm not sure how, how that'll work out. But it's really turned out to be a fantastic and exciting project. And and no one, I'm, I'm sure, no one else is doing anything like this. So uh, I'm really excited to uh, to have the ability to deliver Facing the Sun to the world's music community. Hey, thanks for uh, checking out our Facing the Sun video project uh, introduction and getting a little bit of the background and a little bit of how we came to be where we are today. Um, I, I had a, a great opportunity to work with a lot of fantastic people on this project, and it really came together well. Uh, each of the songs on the EP have a video introduction uh, and a little sample of the songs on the video. Those are all available here on YouTube and other places as well. Check those out and uh, see what we're kind of doing on the inside of each song on a song-to-song -song basis. And if you like it, if you, you can get all of the music for free. We're doing this as a free giveaway on SoundCloud. You can go to SoundCloud. The link to our SoundCloud site is also in the content section down below. Check that out and enjoy it. Thanks a lot.